fantastic. Listen, I, I pre- appreciate you uh, letting me in today. Uh, as you pointed out at the beginning, John Kosterman, I believe he's out hunting, so uh, he's enjoying a nice long week doing that. Um, thanks again for having me in. For those of you I haven't met yet, my name is Chris Selwood, Vice President of Sales for Cure Medical. Um, I put my email address on there. We'll make sure you have that, especially one of the things I'm going to be talking about today is a new product that we've got called Dextra. And if any of you all want samples of it, just make sure you reach out. And when samples are available, which they should be available in the next few weeks, we'll make sure to send some your way. For those of you who aren't familiar with Cure Medical, we were founded in 2007 by a guy named Bob Yant. He's still the chairman of our board. Bob had a C4, C5 injury about 35 years ago. Um, he's very active with our organization still. As I mentioned, he's the chairman of our board. Um, and he's very passionate about giving money back to SCI research. To that end, we give back 10% of our net income to neurologic research. So we end up giving a lot back. We sell about a million and a half catheters a week now. Um, so we're able to donate a significant amount of money back. And it's, it, Bob's a, the passion behind that. Um, we specialize in intermittent catheters, of course. So um, I always tell people also what we don't make because we get asked all the time. We don't do Foley's. We don't do male externals, but we do do uh, intermittent caths. And one of the new ones we've got is the Dextra closed system. And you'll see here, this looks an awful lot like a closed system, a traditional closed system. Um, what's unique about it though is, it, especially for those of you that have limited dexterity, you know that closed systems can be really tough to manipulate. You've got to have pretty good fine motor skills to be able to advance a catheter through an introducer tip and through a bag. And I think we solved that with this product. If you'll notice this white arrow on it, this two-way arrow, um, and I have, a, I have a, a video coming up where I'll show, show how you, or a, it's a graphic to show actually how you advance it. Um, but as, there's a strap underneath the product on the back side of this. Uh, so a person can actually uh, put their hand through underneath it um, or put it on a leg, put it near your leg. Um, and then using that, it's, a, it, it's actually a foam arrow. Um, if, you can, if you can use the butt of your hand, you can use a thumb, you can use a finger to press it and push forward, and every time you push forward, the catheter will advance, and then when you pull back, the cat, the, the, it sort of reloads and grabs the catheter at a lower level to advance the catheter again, um, but it, it won't retract, and that's one of the challenges with a traditional closed system is every time you pull the bag down, the catheter ultimately can retract, so this, this has a, a one-way valve on it so that the catheter will actually not retract, and you can see here, this is a good picture of the underside of it where that strap was, of course, it's cure, so there's no DEHP or BPA or latex in it. Um, and then we have really nice polished eyelets. People very commonly tell us how nice our eyelets are. We use uh, radio frequency or heat to melt a ring around the outside of them, so they're very, very smooth. Um, and then I want to just show this advance real quick. Uh, you can kind of see now in this picture, obviously, the person's got very good uh, uh, thumb movement in this graphic, but the reality is if you can use the butt of your hand and p- apply a little bit of pressure on that foam uh, arrow, you'll see how it advances. And beginning on the 1st of October, um, you'll certainly be able to go to a, a Cure website. We'll, we'll publish this uh, once it's available. It's not technically up and running. You'll be able to access, access it from curemedical.com. You just click on Dexter and you'll go to a dedicated website to request free samples. Um, In the meantime, uh, on that first slide, and I'll make sure you all have it, I'd be happy to to go back to it, but um, the first slide had C. Selwood at curemedical.com. If any of you on this this WebEx today or on this Zoom call today would like additional samples or any samples, let me know and uh, we'll put you on a list and we'll make sure to get those out as soon as possible. Thanks again for having me. I really appreciate it.